A total solar eclipse only happens once every few years. Every eight seconds, a child dies from drinking dirty water. One in four people will be abused in their lifetimes. It only takes 37 seconds to return your shopping cart. We are drowning in data. We have apps to find parking and apps for complaining and maps of the spread of tweets about the Kardashians. But all the data in the world cannot map the depth of our common humanity. It cannot give us the will to act differently. We shine light into dark corners, afraid of what we'll find, not realizing that it's just as easy to block out the light as it is the darkness. All it takes is one thumb and a choice, moon or sun. When darkness falls in the light of day, it's harder to tell the difference. How do you find yourself once you've lost yourself? I, I misplaced half my life, changing myself into what others wanted me to be. Everything to everyone, and nothing to me. How we do some things is how we do everything. But how can you find yourself when 26% of people still don't believe that the Earth revolves around the sun? when the default solution to problems is a gun, when 700 Facebook friends is better than a real one? Anger kills love, we're told, so why be angry? Because I have never been allowed to feel angry before, and there is a lot to be angry about. I am angry that we're running out of clean water. I'm angry that society dictates these unrealistic ideals of physical beauty and success, and expects us to conform when we are armed only with our own shortcomings and the longing to be accepted. I am angry that I was abused. I'm angry that as a single mom, I am chronically exhausted and that society tells me I am a crappy parent when I can't muster the saintly patience to negotiate with a miniature dictator at 11 o'clock at night <laughs> when all I want to do is sleep. I am angry at our either-or mindset that we turn a collective blind eye to the increasing likelihood that climate change will be the asteroid that determines our fate. I am angry that we have the audacity to play God with Mother Nature. I have heard the voice of God in the howl of wolves at dawn, and I have seen some of her finest works as I soared on silver wings over the tangle of chaotic beauty that is Lamar Valley. And when anger no longer works for me, I will choose love, or forgiveness, or curiosity, or I will choose to dissolve into a sobbing mess on the floor and surrender. But whatever I choose will give power to my voice. Life without voice is not life. It is prison. Because the truth is, I am no good to anyone when I'm disconnected from myself. I see the fragmentation of my soul in the dissection of landscape as more of the world is coming unraveled than is getting put back together. I wonder, did, did Triceratops know love or community? My daughter will never know Triceratops, but if she did, I bet her unlikely pen pal would say, be nice to your neighbors. When you're hungry, eat, and when you're tired, go to sleep. And if a giant ball of fire starts to fall from the sky, run like hell. <laughs> this is not about dinosaurs or water or abuse or you or me. It's about stepping through the shadow of difficulty, looking over your shoulder into your blind spot of consciousness. Does it really take 37 seconds to snap out of autopilot? Just stop and listen when the wind says, I love you, I hear you. When the warmth of the sun says, I honor you, you are beautiful, you are enough. Remember how beautiful the world was before society told us what was beautiful? We are all born with a clean slate. We inherently know love. We are taught hate. 
And over time, that clean slate fills up with eight million insecurities and regrets. But the soul does not measure time. It only measures growth. I shed my chameleon skin only when I grew tired of my own disguises. When I realized that the lies I was telling myself are just lies. I now know that it's about who you are, not about what you've done. They can't pull the trigger if you don't hand them the gun. I know that what makes you unique is what makes you beautiful. I know that I cannot let the cacophony of society's expectations collide with where my heart resides. I know that I am enough. I may forget this a thousand times. I only have to remember it a thousand and one. Thank you.